Hello and welcome back to the quarry. We're at chapter two and um, we're just going to continue where we left off. General store. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. First chance I get, she's taste, going off a cliff. Some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. You don't have a tension rod. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Ah, the safe! We need to open this now. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, I need to find the code. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Okay, we need the combination for the safe. So he is... <laughs> I was about to say, he's an idiot. And then I turn around to him glitching out in the door. Okay. Alright, what we got here? Okay, that's a door that doesn't open to a... Sort of like a gun cage. Okay. Wow. A lot of storeroom here. What's this? Oh, a poster Harum, for the show again. Scarum? Damage memorabilia. It's all coming together, it says. Flyers promoting Harum Scarum. Dates indicated it took place over six years ago. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what we can find. Apologies, I looked at the footage for the last episode, by the way. It is a bit jank in places, but... That's just the game. I suppose it's to add to the film effects. It's just a bit jank. Oh, hold on, was that a thing? No, that's just light. Okay, yeah, I really wanted to zoom into the back of her head. Double check everywhere. Oh, more merchandise. 
Who buys this crap? 1953. Remember, 1953. 1953. For that safe. Right, that's the hunting season, dude, right? Yeah. Okay. Big old chest with a lock. The other side of the cage is here. Let's go unlock this door. That's probably going to be helpful. Yeah. Because that's now a quick way out. 1953. Can I go back to the safe? Are you in the way, Chunky? I guess Chunky is stopping me from doing the safe right now. That's okay. So let's use this. This is my way back that's quick and out the way. Oh, but that looks like there's a fire here. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to remember it. Oh, scary mask. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Let's scare him. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Mainly because he's okay. colossal wimp. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. She is the master of shit phone angles. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Now, where should I hide? The chest. Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. Well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Very confusing. Who finds clowns sexy? Literally no one. Take the spider. Okay, no, we're leaving it. A lot of places to look around here. Okay. Well, that's a staff room. Let's not go in there just yet. Let's have a little check around just in case there's any more loot and gubs we could use. Uh, no. Okay, right. Straight in the staff room then. Okay. Let's see what we got. Wonder where this goes. Let me guess, you're gonna break the door in again? Locked. She's the door kicker. She's broken every door. Oh! Mother! Hubbard! Ah! Ah! <sighs> what you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. <laughs> She's kicked every door so far. Done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she not be able to get away now. Whoa. The fucking mother loud. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. 
Think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. While he spends an hour holding the door. Okay. What's in the freezer? How many bodies are in here? Ice creams? Old camping packs. Jacob! In blood and check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's let's go. Torn bags. Did it? Yeah. Great. Bear do this? No. No, a bear didn't. It's the weird zombie werewolf thing. Shotgun. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay, that's where the ammo is. And this is how she kills Jacob. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Anything else we can do? Okay, no, we're just throwing around a solid snake's box. Okay, time to leave. With the gun. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Alright, idiot. Time to, um, go and get some ammo. For bears. Maybe just shooting your phone. There's toothpaste there, right? I really don't like this girl. Really don't like her. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. What? Oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Shit. Was it the shotgun ammo or the firework that saved someone? Fuck! Um... Can I... Look at my tarot card? Replay the vision. Here we go. Take out the ammo. That's not ammo going off. That's fireworks. Take them. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Uh, yeah, be a judgmental bitch. Cause Aren't that's those what for you kids? Are. What? Yeah. Yeah, and I used to be a kid. <laughs> used to be? Okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your <gasps> mouth. <laughs> now, come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. All right, whatever. 
You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yeah. I don't understand that. Which way? So confused. But hey, we've got fireworks and shotgun ammo. Can't go wrong there. Well, probably can go wrong there, but, you know, we can hope not. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Is he trying to flirt? I can't tell, but that face is horrifying. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the, the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and... Discussing if they're, well, bona fide. <laughs> Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. All right, we're playing as this guy, who I think has a crush on him. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh... Not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Dylan, you are fucking shit at this. <laughs> are the, uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Awkward shit in the world. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fuck me, it's so awkward. Right, gun. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Hey, let's be serious. What if we need it? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Yeah, that's You're a great me. idea. Fuck. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss.
Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Cut it out. <laughs> just looking at it intensely. Fine, okay, we won't get it. Yeah, I don't care if he's getting irritated. I thought we might need it. There's a trap door. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Family photo. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. So I'm just going to say this now. Camp Council looks way more like... Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Let's flirt. Okay, we got this. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. He seems interested. Mm, mm. Oh, darts. Darts are a good option. No? Okay. Uh, right, we've done the phone. There's the trap door, and then there's this door. Uh, let's try trap door first. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> ah, secret sex dungeon. I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. <laughs> Yeah, I like Dylan. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're not gonna die this early on into the story, right? Well, what happened to uh, Dylan? Well, he fell. He fell down a ladder. What's down there? Died. Oh my God, Ryan! You will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural. So. Oh fuck. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming back up. Is that the storm drain? Oh, fuck. Alright, well, we now know that lad is fucked. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right, he does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Aw, I think it's cute. Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. 
Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Yeah, interesting. Two names are crossed out. Not necessarily because they didn't show up, but because they are dead. Hmm. Well, one of them definitely is. Maybe not Laura. Okay. Um, what about over here? We've got a calendar. Nope. Uh, cigarettes? Nope. Phones? Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. We're really gonna have to wait. <laughs> I like him. Alright, let's go through here. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Yeah, like, Fine. I touched the gun. Don't let me regret it. Three times. <laughs> Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Oh, damn. Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe he listens to the book. Nah, I'm mischievous. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Yeah, it is a bit creepy. 100% creepy. But there's a microphone, like a mini boom mic there. Okay, do we see anything? I'm not seeing anything. What was that? Okay. It's probably nothing. Yeah, it totally didn't look like an old man taking a camera. Shall we um have a look over here? The map of all the cabins and stuff. So yeah, there's cameras everywhere around this place. This is a defensive camera area. 
What's this? Letters? Okay. Huh. Max and Laura's mail. They're the people that mailed ahead. Okay. A little creepy. Anything in this filing cabinet? No. Okay. What about this VHS tape on the wall here? No? Okay. Time to leave the secret lair. Because that's not at all creepy. 32%. So we're not quite charged yet. Okay. What have we got over here then? Bathroom? Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Ibuprofen, good to know. Ibuprofen, needles, very very important if we need to pain kill anything. Okay, good to know. So we've got a sure sharing someone's leg off, is that it? Yeah. Um I think it's sure sharing. If I've got that wrong, then whoops. But yeah, if we've got to saw someone's leg off, um, then we'll have to do that. Okay. We tar. And he sleeps in here. Okay. Nothing else I can do in here. Okay, time to leave the creepy room. Um. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? No. No, they're not. They're closer, but not done yet. Nice. Full up. Uh, no, it's not full up, so we'll continue exploring. 28% is not full. Do I just wait for it, or...? Like, what else am I supposed to do here? Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just go to the party. If we run out of charge, nice. I don't care anyway. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Yeah, a whole five percent. Thank you. Okay. So we know where there's painkillers, cameras, a hidden room, and a gun. That's useful. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Okay. Shady Glade or Rocky Road? This sounds an awful... Right. And the tool tip in the first episode was like, go to the bunnies, not the dark area. So Shady Glade. Yeah. Let's Creepy. go this way. Creepy's the way. If you go the creepy way, people won't expect it. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. Yeah, dive down head first. You got this. Romance. In the middle of a forest. Really use a tarot card if there is one. No? Okay. Go for a stroll then. So, um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm. Why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. Uh, <laughs> isn't that about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa. Just a bird. Evil just bird. a bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've just been on a little... Just been a little edgy lately. <laughs> Uh, reassuring? Yeah, be reassuring. Let's chill. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad, and you think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but you just realize it's nature doing its thing. Did you just say thing? No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open-minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Uh, um, maybe. Let's just make it through tonight first. Yeah. Coming on a little strong there, dude. Any tarot cards? Having a little look. No. Moss on a tree. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. It's just... Wow. Yeah. Just stand there, breathing through your mouth. Sincere or playful? Do me? Fucking hell. <laughs> Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Jesus Christ, I'm surprised these lot get anything done at all. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, hold on. But then there's gonna be mommy. Hold on. Save Abby? Yeah. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. 
You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the moment. Move this to my view of the creature's quality causing serious consequences. Right, okay, fuck. Okay, did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were gonna draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, got it all up here. <laughs> There's no escape. So, so I'll grab my. Fucking Mary Poppins shit is your bag. Guess we should head back. That bag is the most irritating thing about all the characters. That and Emma's face. Caitlin, by herself. Everyone's up in teams, and here's the badass. <sighs> Finally get my phone back, and it's just a big dumb brick. Take a picture of that. For oh, the sun. Um... Well, can we zoom in? No, okay. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got... Trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Uh, weird light in the treehouse. Yeah, I totally saw that. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? <laughs> you know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. 
Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep it to when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Stern, come on. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Well, come on. Look, the shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, look. You and me. Old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops... All to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's just stood there in the back, like, what? Well, this is just happening around me. <laughs> so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range... We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? I don't care about any of this teen drama. It was... It was okay. Hey! Atta boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's... really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What, no, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. And his fingers on the trigger already. 
All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Melon. Good job, Nick. Oh, I definitely missed an All right. Ball. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That that is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No! <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but... You're both very mean. <laughs> Blam. We thought this was over? What the... Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay, so if we're gonna give anyone the gun, we give it to her. Pretty sold anyway, based on her attitude. Right, it's finally night time, so hopefully people will start dying in a minute, and we'll actually get into the horror bit. People will spend a year on this pan shot. For fuck's sake! Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Wow. Oh, uh... uh... I... Interrupts? No, it's truth or dare. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Not dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. You got with a dare. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess 
both this off the table. <laughs> Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Dylan! All the way! Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, Caitlin. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't got no turn yet. Good point. Caitlin. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Mm. Let's go interested. Yeah. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. <laughs> well, the answer is... I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Yeah, we'll nope. Go on what? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, um... <laughs> A street performer? You mean like, um, <laughs> like... No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Emma. Ooh. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or. Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well, then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Of course she does. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! <laughs> this is hilarious. Thank you, Nick. Right, so I'm happy with letting some of these people die. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. <laughs> Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Oh god, I didn't find a tarot card. She's gonna be mad at me. Welcome back! I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? Nothing. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. 
That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Right, well, I fucked that up. Are we on chapter three? Um... Yes, I believe we are. Trouble in Paradise. Well, I'll, um... End this here, I guess. Um... What happens if I press quit to main menu? I guess that... That'll be fine, fingers crossed. If not, then I'll replay up to this point, just for the, uh... Next recording? Yeah, continue. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. Much love from me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.